Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 196. T and B cell activation. Name all the antigen presenting cells. The antigen presenting cells includes dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells. Remember, dendritic cells are the only antigen presenting cells that can activate naive T cells. Now when talking about T cells and B cell activation, remember there are two signals that are required for T cell activation, two signals are also required for B cell activation, and class switching also requires two signals. Describe the process of naive T cell activation. Please refer to the picture on your screens to understand naive T cell activation. On the left, you can see cytotoxic T cell activation, whereas on the right, you see the helper T cell activation. First, in both cases, you could see a foreign body being phagocytosed by dendritic cell or antigen presenting cell. That foreign body antigen is now going to combine with MHC, and this will form the antigen MHC complex. In case of cytotoxic T cell activation, you see the complex being formed between MHC1 plus the foreign antigen, whereas in the case of helper T cell activation, you see the complex being formed between MHC2 and the foreign antigen. Once the MHC and antigen complex has been formed, it will be now expressed on the cell surface. The MHC1 and antigen complex is going to be recognized by the T cell receptors on the cytotoxic T cell, whereas the MHC2 antigen complex is going to be recognized by the T cell receptors on the T helper cells. And this is the first signal. Also, in the picture here, you can see the co-stimulatory signal. And this co-stimulatory signal is given by the interaction of B7 and CD28, which makes up the second signal. When both of these signals are achieved, it will lead to activation of both T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells, the T helper cell is now going to be able to produce cytokines, whereas the cytotoxic T cell is able to recognize and kill virus infected cells. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.